Sunday, the men's soccer NCAA tournament returned to Valley Fields for the first time since 1997 when Marquette hosted Northwestern in the second round of the tournament. But unfortunately for the Golden Eagles, the match ended much the same way as it did in 97, in defeat with a 1-0 loss to the Wildcats. They had a great game plan. I mean, keeping seven, eight guys back behind the ball and breaking on us. Um, it, it, uh, it, it, it's a tough way to go out, especially in the season that we've had. But any team that can come into Valley Field to shut us out and to win, you know, and score, or go, or score one more than us, fair play to them. After falling behind in the 31st minute, the Golden Eagles failed to capitalize on a number of chances that could have provided an equalizer. Most notably, a great shot off the foot of Adam Lysak that went just wide right before halftime. I was assuming I hoped he was going to take it, as he usually does, but uh, the opportunity came up where he had a heel flick to me, and the defenders didn't see it coming, uh, and I had a one-time shot, and I was so confident it was going to go in. Um, it just happened to go to the right side of the post, but uh, it happens, and uh, I think everyone would agree that we would have liked to create more of those opportunities today, but it was just one of those days. There's no question the loss is a brutal one for the Golden Eagles, but keeper Charlie Lyons sees Marquette's season as one filled with success. We've done some things that haven't been done at the school in a while, and uh, I'm very proud of the group of guys that, that are here right now, um, the seniors that have been here and helped build the program to what it is now. Um, so I, I think, I think the, the progress we've been able to make each season, we've continually progressed uh, as, since, I've, since I've been here and it, it's been an honor to be a part of the program and um, you know, we're just going to uh, build, build from what we've already done this season and, and continue to move forward and, uh, and you know, hope to go farther next year. Marquette finishes the season with a 16-4-1 overall record and exits the NCAA still looking for its first tournament win in program history. Reporting from Valley Fields, Mark Freund, MUTV Sports.